Hello, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and in this video I'm going to show you how to lower the pH in your tank. Um, we quite often get asked how to lower pH, especially for South American fish, the Epistogramma species, tetras, um, also some Asian fish, rasboras and so on and such forth, that prefer pH less than 7. There's a lot of people who have problems bringing it down because the pH of the tap water is so high. So in this video I'll show you how to bring it down. Probably the most natural way is bog wood. This one's got suckers on to go on the side of the tank so it doesn't take up any of the floor space on the tank. Um, I like to have these in our tanks in the shop so when you've got curries on the bottom they're not getting stuck behind things, they're not hiding under things, the loaches can't find anywhere to hide and also there's not muck getting caught underneath them which it would if it was on the ground. That's a good way. It does tend to stay in the water reasonably uh, brown but if you have any carbon in your filter, it'll take it out, or water changes, it'll take it out as well. One of the most successful and also the cheapest way to reduce pH and also help boost fish immune system, repress algae, all of that stuff, um, from reports we've got back from our uh, customers and also fish breeders, is this. Basically just a ball of very soft slimy peat um, taken from about five foot underneath an ancient peat bog wrapped in a permeable membrane and all you do with this is squeeze it in the water it releases all the goodness helps to bring the pH down here we go I'm actually at our tanks now there's a peat ball in the tank it's been, probably been in a couple of months but um, it should still have a bit of life left in it so we'll give it a squeeze and I'll show you what comes out of it There you go, it's basically just like black water extract, but you can use it again and again and again for months. We sell these either singly from the shop or in packs of five online for $4.99 for a pack of five. One of the less obvious ways of reducing pH and also releasing compounds to combat bacteria and fungus is alder cones. from the European alder tree. Uh, you just put them in at a rate of one per gallon. Helps to keep the pH down a little bit but it also releases antibacterial and antifungal compounds into the water. There's a lot of discus breeders, curry breeders, basically breeders of soft water fish use these in the containers that they, that put the eggs in. It helps to protect the eggs from fungus and bacteria. We do these in a bag of approximately between 120 and 150 in a bag, depending on size, for $4.99. Another natural way to bring the pH down and also help fish overcome bacterial problems or fungal problems. These are almond leaves. We get these from Malaysia, I think it is, they come from. Somewhere in the Far East anyway. Um, and again, we also sell these from the shop and online, send them worldwide. These are good because you just you put them in, they float for a while, give the fish a nice bit of shade and then they sink. Um, we've actually found a lot of our Pistogramma species will spawn underneath here if they're left undisturbed. Another seemingly chemical route, but a natural one, is Tetra black water extract main ingredient is actually peat compounds so it's pretty much the same as peat balls but it works out a little bit more expensive to use very convenient because you just put a few drops in now and again whenever you want the pH down it brings it down but it doesn't keep it down whereas the peat balls have a buffer in effect because they're in there all the time they have a buffer in effect and when you do a water change you squeeze them release a little bit more stuff pH comes down again
You can always go the straightforward chemical route. That's API, pH down, contains sulfuric acid, so you can't get much more chemical than that. Um, personally, I prefer the natural route of either almond leaves, alder cones, or peat balls. There you go, there's some easy ways to bring the pH down and hopefully keep it down. As I said in the video, I prefer the natural route, i.e. the almond leaves, all the cones and also the peat balls. If you click the link below in the description, it'll take you to our eBay page where we've got a small selection of stuff, but you'll find the peat balls and all the cones on it.